Hi Stampers, I'm Nancy from Stamp and Shout and I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So every week I pick a Stampin' Up stamp set and then I do a daily how-to video at noon. So all you gotta remember is Nancy at noon and I'm on YouTube. So my videos are short so you can watch them from start to finish and learn how to use the stamps to create your own card in less than 15 minutes. So I do all the fast forwarding for you so you can watch from beginning to end and hopefully you're inspired and you can make your own card. And this week I am using the Brood For You stamp set and it also comes with coordinating dies. So all this week I've been making great die cards. Hope you're enjoying them. Uh, today is the fourth day and let me show you today's card. So it's a pretzel and beer card. It's also a little bit of a fun fold. It opens up like that. And then I stamped inside another round for your birthday. So this is really a fun card to make. Let me bring in the supplies. So I'm using a early espresso card base and it is seven and a half by four and a quarter. And then I scored it at two. And then I have another piece that is four and a quarter by two. And then I have my designer series paper that is one and three quarters by four. I have two of those. I have an inside piece that's four and a quarter by five. And then I have the front piece, the focal points. I have a early espresso mat and our white stamping piece. And I will, let's see, that is three and a half by two and a half and three and three eighths by two and three eighths. And then I'm going to emboss this with the exposed brick embossing folder. So let me run that through and we'll get some pretty texture on there and I'll be right back. So again, this is exposed brick and it's really cool look and I thought it was great for these guy cards. And this designer series paper, the little pretzel paper, it is called Delightfully Eclectic and it's a 48 pack of designer series paper that's double sided. So that's 48 sheets. It's a ton of paper and they're 12 by 12 double-sided, gorgeous. So that's the paper I've been using all week. And if I forget to mention anything about the sizes or the products I'm using, visit my website, stampandshout.blogspot.com and I'll have more pictures there. I'll have all the sizes and all the products listed and shoppable clicking, shoppable links for you. And you can always email me at stampandshout at gmail.com. So let's keep going here. We're going to go ahead and put some of this together right now. So I'm going to go ahead and glue the designer series paper on. So I glued one piece to the top and then on the separate piece, I glued the other designer series paper there. We can go ahead and glue these two pieces together. And we can go ahead and stamp on the inside. And I'm going to stamp in, I think I'll stamp this in Cajun craze. And I'm going to stamp another round for your birthday. So yeah, this stamp set is great for your guy cards. And I hope that you're enjoying all the cards this week. Don't forget to leave comments. Every comment gets entered to win today's card. And then I will announce the winners on Monday. So that's going to go on the inside and we can go ahead and, oops, see what I did? I stamped that the wrong way. So that's why I never glue my paper in and then stamp because if I make a mistake, I can just flip it over. So again, let me show you what I did wrong. I stamped it horizontally and I needed to stamp it vertically. So let's do that one more time. So it's good to make mistakes so you guys can see what I'm doing so you guys don't do the same thing, right? I would have been really upset if I had glued that in and then did found out that I stamped it goofy. Okay, so that goes just like that. 
And obviously, when you glue your designer series paper, if it has a pattern, you want to make sure it's going the right way. Now, let's finish. Let's bring in a couple of scraps. This is Cajun Craze, and then I have a scrap in white. And I am going to bring in Early Espresso. And I'm going to stamp this big jug. Like that. And then I'm also going to stamp the sentiment on here. Oh, ale, yes. And then I'm going to cut that out. But before I do, I want to go ahead and stamp the mug. So I'm going to stamp the mug in early espresso. And I'm going to stamp the foam in Cajun Craze. And I'm going to stamp it over here because I'm going to cut that out. And I'm also going to stamp the beer in Cajun Craze. So these are see-through, so you just can look through here and line it up. And I'm going to go ahead and cut this out with the dies. So, so I called this a jug earlier. It's also called a growler, this little thing here. So I am just going to line this all up. just like that and cut it out and I will be right back. And now we can put them on this front little piece and I'm going to pop them up with dimensions. So for the little foam, I'm just going to put a little bit of glue right at the top of this mug and then add the foam. And then I'll add a couple of dimensions on the back. It's cute. The little die cut even cuts out the little handles. So it's really cute. So to put this card together, like I said, it's a little bit of a fun fold. We're going to put dimensionals on the back of this. And this is cut pretty exact. So I want to make sure my dimensionals are right up to the very, very top. But we're not taking the sticky off yet. So just put your dimensionals on the main focal point there and make sure they are as close to the edge as you can get them without showing through. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put this on our card. So I'm going to put the top one on first. So I'm taking just the top backings off. And I'm going to kind of eyeball this. Go just like that. Now for this one, take off the backing, place this piece right at the very bottom where it's going to be. Make sure it's nice and even. Make sure it's exactly where you want it to be. Hold it in place and just close up the card. And that way, when you open it, this bottom piece sticks to it. And so there's your card.
Isn't that fun? I love it. I love the pretzel paper with the beer. I thought I've got to make a beer card with that pretzel paper. It's just so, so cute. So that's today's card. I hope you like it. Don't forget to leave a comment to be entered to win today's card. And then I'll announce the, card, the winners on Monday. Um, if you enjoyed this video, maybe you have a friend that would enjoy it too. So hopefully you, you will consider sharing it. All you got to do is click the little share button down below. But I appreciate every like, comment, and share. And I especially love that you guys spend some time with me. Um, so until next time, Nancy at noon, don't be shy, stamp and shout.